Now for our feature story of the day, Satoshi Evra, $10 million Bitcoin price prediction suddenly emerges from the past. And you already know who it is, uh, Hal Finney. So let's discuss this right here. Data showed on X indicates that the very first prediction of Bitcoin theoretically reaching 10 million per coin in the future was made by a person very close to Satoshi. In fact, some believe Hal Finney is Satoshi. I want to know your thoughts. The author of the post pointed out that all the complaints about Bitcoin being predicted to reach 1 million pale in comparison to the earlier ultra bullish forecast. Uh, here's the first person who said Bitcoin could reach 10 million. The very first person. Uh, let's actually go to this tweet with the evidence, the proof, the receipts, as Vivek shares here. You think 1 million is crazy? Meet Hal Finney. A week after Bitcoin went live. So a week after the Genesis block. I believe that was... Jan 3rd, hence Samson Mao's company, Jan 3. So one week after would be around, let's just say, January 11th, because the 11th is a divine number. Predicting 10 million, freaking legend. And I'm just going to read verbatim what Hal Finney wrote, and may he rest in peace. As an amusing thought experiment, imagine the Bitcoin is successful. It becomes the dominant payment system in use throughout the world. Then the total value of the currency should be equal to the total value of the wealth in the world. Current estimates of the total worldwide household wealth that I found range from $100 trillion to $300 trillion. And again, this is like 15 years ago. I think it's probably now like $800 trillion, and that's conservative, but nonetheless continue with 20 million coins that gives each coin a value of about 10 million dollars so the possibility of generating coins today with a few cents of computational time may be a quite a good bet with a payoff of something like 100 million to one even if the odds of bitcoin succeeding to this degree are slim are they really 100 million to one against something to think about you gotta respect how finney uh the legend himself I mean, that's pretty lit. And also consider there's probably five, six million Bitcoin lost and gone forever, which make it that much more scarce at the end of the day. So many believe Hal Finney was Satoshi's real name. Interesting. There is no way of finding out for sure now since the cypherpunk sadly passed away 10 years ago. On August 28th of 2014, he suffered from ALS, diagnosed in 2009, the same year of the Bitcoin launch. And he passed away when he was a young 58 years old. Crazy, right? Now, in the post uh, of the letter in which the latter described the conditions under which Bitcoin would soar to 10 million per coin in the future, according to Finney, to make that happen, Bitcoin needs to become the dominant payment system in use throughout the world. And in this case, the Satoshi candidate continued the total value of Bitcoin needs to reach equality with the total value of the wealth in the world. Back in 2009, the total worldwide household wealth equaled 100 to 300 trillion. That divided by 20 million, uh, for some reason used by Finney instead of 21 million, maybe probably just for easy math, I would assume, would make each Bitcoin worth approximately $10 million per coin. Finney then pointed out that mining Bitcoin with compute time worth just a few cents could prove quite a good bet. You can say that again. Uh, something like a reward of 100, 100 million to one. Crazy, right? Now, this week, during his visit to CNBC Squawk Box, Bitcoiner and micro strategy executive Mikey Saylor made a similar predict, uh, prediction. He expects Bitcoin to reach $10 million in 21 years. I think it was 13 million to be more precise. We covered it in the pod, but nonetheless, as soon as Bitcoin absorbs approximately 7% of the gold market, I think it's going to capture the majority of the gold market because it's superior to the precious metal and every element it can be compared. That's my opinion. Currently, it holds only 0.01% of it. And also, I must point out, that was Michael Saylor's base case. That's not even the bull case, yo. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, Bitcoin to 10 million. Again, if we do a modest 50x from here, I'm sorry, 20x from here takes us to 1 million. And then 10x from there, bada boom, bada bing. We got Hal Finney's target. I think it's destiny. I'm pretty confident we'll hit 10 million. Obviously, I don't think it'll happen this cycle, but uh, I could see 1 million by 2029, the year after the following having coming up. And then the following having after that, we can talk Turkey here. Hal wanted to get the community to raise funds to send Satoshi an economics conference. When Satoshi suggested that Hal goes, that's when he revealed his sickness. Uh, thanks for sharing there, uh, JBZ. Come on, pump already, please, says Anonymous. Send it. Sorry, driving and misfired. You're in the same exclusive club that I'm in. It gets special filtering for people who say things, yeah, Obviously, censorship is at all-time highs uh, political season, especially on the two 
So it kind of just is what it is. That's why we have the uncensored version of the pod when the YouTube stream ends. But anyways, uh, welcome everyone to the Q&A segment of the live stream. I'm just going to do my best to read your comments out loud. There's your opportunity to ask me anything you like. Share comments, ask questions. Just note for the thousand people on X, if you want your comment to be shown on screen so I read it out loud, head on over to the YouTube channel. It's cryptonewsalerts.net. And if you guys could actually subscribe, it'll help with the YouTube algo because I feel we've been shadow banned since I got my account back from the false termination. And it sucks. I think I lost clearly like 90% of our traffic there, but we make up for it on the X. So it's all good in the hood. But nonetheless, welcome everyone joining the stream. We're live on X, we're live on Rumble. We're live on YouTube. Shout out sailing, fishing, shooting adventures. I like the new updated username. Shout out South Africa. Welcome to the stream. Won't the pump happen when the crypto proves bullish during the bear stock market is the real question, says Sam. Won't the pump happen when crypto proves bullish? Crypto don't got to prove nothing. Uh, Bitcoin is on its own vector and it will just pump when it wants to pump. In fact, speaking of a pump, that's the reality of it good morning moonstone welcome to the stream shout out santa barbara did you guys know that dan bongino was one of the main guys in parlor which was going to be huge and was killed by the left and then helped make rumble not just a streamer a businessman i didn't know that not familiar Parlor sounds familiar. What does that platform do? Is, is that a video platform? I forget what you do on there. I've heard of it, but I just never used it. Just saw an X. You were live. Uh, thank you, Sailing. That's because YouTube don't send notifications. So shout out X, <laughs> where 99% of the audience is now. You know what I mean? But yeah. So we appreciate all the reposts and the, you know all the love on X because we continue to blow up over there. And YouTube continues to shadow ban me. Cheers. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end the YouTube stream just because they hate us. But I respect and appreciate all the viewers on YouTube supporting us. Uh, you know, we got 130 people on the tube right now. But we're going to end the YouTube stream. We're going to continue with the uncensored version of the podcast exclusive on X and Rumble. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Hide your cats. Hide your dogs, because it's about to get lit. It's about to get lit. So, yeah, again, uh, rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net. The YouTube stream is about to finish. We're going to end the stream right now. Head on over to rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net, and let's get it. Uncensored version of the pod. Welcome to the after party YouTube stream. We out.